October 24, The Unbelief of the People But despite all the miraculous signs Jesus had done, most of the people still did not believe in him. This is exactly what Isaiah the prophet had predicted. Lord, who has believed our message? To whom has the Lord revealed his powerful arm? But the people couldn't believe, for as Isaiah also said, The Lord has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, so that their eyes cannot see, and their hearts cannot understand, and they cannot turn to me and have me heal them. Isaiah was referring to Jesus when he said this, because he saw the future and spoke of the Messiah's glory. Many people did believe in him, however, including some of the Jewish leaders, but they wouldn't admit it for fear that the Pharisees would expel them from the synagogue, for they loved human praise more than the praise of God. Jesus shouted to the crowds, If you trust me, you are trusting not only me, but also God who sent me. For when you see me, you are seeing the one who sent me. I have come as a light to shine in this dark world, so that all who put their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark. I will not judge those who hear me, but don't obey me. For I have come to save the world and not to judge it. But all who reject me and my message will be judged on the day of judgment by the truth I have spoken. I don't speak on my own authority. The Father who sent me has commanded me what to say and how to say it. And I know his commands lead to eternal life, so I say whatever the Father tells me to say. Jesus Curses the Fig Tree The next morning, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. He noticed a fig tree in full leaf a little way off, so he went over to see if he could find any figs. But there were only leaves, because it was too early in the season for fruit. Then Jesus said to the tree, May no one ever eat your fruit again. And the disciples heard him say it. From Matthew In the morning, as Jesus was returning to Jerusalem, he was hungry, and he noticed a fig tree beside the road. He went over to see if there were any figs, but there were only leaves. Then he said to it, May you never bear fruit again. And immediately the fig tree withered up. The disciples were amazed when they saw this and asked, How did the fig tree wither so quickly? Then Jesus told them, I tell you the truth. If you have faith and don't doubt, you can do things like this and much more. You can even say to this mountain, May you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. You can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. From Mark Jesus clears the temple. When they arrived back in Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the people buying and selling animals for sacrifices. He knocked over the tables of the money changers and the chairs of those selling doves, and he stopped everyone from using the temple as a marketplace. He said to them, The scriptures declare my temple will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. When the leading priests and teachers of religious law heard what Jesus had done, they began planning how to kill him. But they were afraid of him because the people were so amazed at his teaching. That evening, Jesus and the disciples left the city. From Matthew Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out all the people buying and selling animals for sacrifice. He knocked over the tables of the money changers and the chairs of those selling doves. He said to them, The scriptures declare my temple will be called a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. The blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. The leading priests and the teachers of religious law saw these wonderful miracles and heard even the children in the temple shouting, Praise God for the Son of David! But the leaders were indignant. They asked Jesus, Do you hear what these children are saying? Yes, Jesus replied. Haven't you ever read the scriptures? For they say you have taught children and infants to give you praise. Then he returned to Bethany, where he stayed overnight. From Luke Then Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the people selling animals for sacrifices. He said to them, The scriptures declare my temple will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. After that, he taught daily in the temple. But the leading priests, the teachers of religious law, and the other leaders of the people began planning how to kill him. But they could think of nothing, because all the people hung on every word he said. 
From Mark The Withered Fig Tree The next morning as they passed by the fig tree he had cursed, the disciples noticed it had withered from the roots up. Peter remembered what Jesus had said to the tree on the previous day and exclaimed, Look, Rabbi, the fig tree you cursed has withered and died. Then Jesus said to the disciples, Have faith in God. I tell you the truth, you can say to this mountain, May you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. But when you are praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against, so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. The Authority of Jesus Challenged Again they entered Jerusalem. As Jesus was walking through the temple area, the leading priests, the teachers of religious law, and the elders came up to him. They demanded, By what authority are you doing all these things? Who gave you the right to do them? I'll tell you by what authority I do these things if you answer one question, Jesus replied. Did John's authority to baptize come from heaven, or was it merely human? Answer me. They talked it over among themselves. If we say it was from heaven, he will ask why we didn't believe John. But do we dare say it was merely human? for they were afraid of what the people would do, because everyone believed that John was a prophet. So they finally replied, We don't know. And Jesus responded, Then I won't tell you by what authority I do these things. From Matthew When Jesus returned to the temple and began teaching, the leading priests and elders came up to him. They demanded, By what authority are you doing all these things? Who gave you the right? I'll tell you by what authority I do these things if you answer one question, Jesus replied. Did John's authority to baptize come from heaven, or was it merely human? They talked it over among themselves. If we say it was from heaven, he will ask us why we didn't believe John. But if we say it was merely human, we'll be mobbed because the people believe John was a prophet. So they finally replied, We don't know. And Jesus responded, Then I won't tell you by what authority I do these things. From Luke One day, as Jesus was teaching the people and preaching the good news in the temple, the leading priests, the teachers of religious law, and the elders came up to him. They demanded, By what authority are you doing all these things? Who gave you the right? Let me ask you a question first, he replied. Did John's authority to baptize come from heaven? Or was it merely human? They talked it over among themselves. If we say it was from heaven, he will ask why we didn't believe John. But if we say it was merely human, the people will stone us because they are convinced John was a prophet. So they finally replied that they didn't know. And Jesus responded, Then I won't tell you by what authority I do these things.